Hey guys, this is Cameron with Motion Science and I've got another quick one for you today. This one has to do with textures. Last week I put out a video on how to use the set matte effect in After Effects and I had a lot of you email and comment that you wanted to know how I created the moving textures inside of this MTV logo. So here you can see the moving textures inside the logo that I talked about last week. So I just want to show you very quickly how I created these moving textures. The first thing I should mention is that you can see over here in the timeline that these three layers, pre-comps of textures are set to a color, a multiply, and a normal transfer mode. I'm not going to get into that stuff this week, but let me show you what I, how I created one of these textures which let's focus on the black and white texture. If I go into this pre-comp, you can see here there's a whole bunch of layers. Uh, 32 layers. This comp is set to 24 frames per second. And I'll just delete these layers. I'll go up here to my uh, black and white texture folder. And I've just selected, pre-selected these few textures here and what I'm going to do is just drop one in here and you can see I've got a large texture in my 1080p comp so it's great to have a texture that's larger than your comp so they have more room to work with so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to scale it up to somewhere in here close to 150 percent I'm also going to make this a very short layer so we just see it for one frame of the 24 frame sequence. And then I just find a part of the frame that looks interesting. Maybe there. Duplicate. Maybe somewhere in here. I'm actually gonna drop, jump back into my first comp. And here's a little trick if you don't know it. If you go up here to composition window here in the left corner, click on comp one or whatever your comp is named. Click new comp viewer kind of pop up a second viewer here. And inside this viewer, I can go back into my texture. Sorry, this window. And I can move my texture around. I can see how it looks over here on the right side. So I'll duplicate again. Maybe drag over in here. Bring in another texture. Set it to be one frame as well. It's great there. Duplicate. Maybe move it there. Duplicate again. Maybe in here. Bring in the next texture. And you get the idea here. So I'm gonna speed through this so that you can see the whole process. Okay, and you can see like on this uh, particular texture, it looks like there's a lot of black going on here. But when we layer other textures on top, some of this area will fill in. So it's okay to have negative space in the textures. So I still have a few sections here of timeline to fill up. So I might just select a few of these, duplicate them, take them to the top of the timeline. Maybe one more. Yeah, so it's just simple black and white textures, but put together in a sequence where each texture is very short, it turns into like a moving texture. And if we look over here, all I did then was just uh, duplicate the same process in texture two and then in texture three to give my color to the logo, it's just a bunch of watercolors in the same simple fashion. So there you go, there's how to create simple moving textures. 
uh, in your uh, motion graphics. Hope you guys learned something new. Please leave a comment below, like, subscribe. And until next time, I'm Cameron, and this is Motion Science.